What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 29 of our Atlantic Career Mode. And today, a couple of games. We've got the second leg of our Europa League qualifier round against VN. We were at home, and we did win the away leg 3-0, so hopefully we can hold on to that. And then we have Sampdoria in the league. Last episode, a 3-3 with Parma after we were 3-0 up, and regardless of ridic a, a large amount of ridiculous things happened on our way to a 3-3 but I guess we I guess we push on um let's jump into this we're gonna play these two games today and then next episode will be a deadline day kind of special and we'll see how those things work out but we're gonna make a few changes here um these three are going to move back out Castagne we'll play Muriel out on the right Hatteboro can start at right back, wherever he's hiding. Mancini can play. Casace can be rested too for Gossens. And Maldini can come onto the bench along with Ilicic. And a variety of changes all over the pitch. So let's jump into this, guys. All we need today is to not lose 3 or 4 nil, and we'll be golden. So let's go. over the top here it's clipped to the back post that's clipped over the top it's a good header down though <gasps> no that's not who I wanted it to go to and VN have scored come on guys I hate clearing the ball the clearance headers are always really really bad and another one happens there we had one in the game against Parma that's headed down that wasn't a clearance header but it's just an awful pass. It's 1-0 to VN. Let's not do what we did with Parma, shall we? Yeah, don't step or anything. You don't need to. No! Wide! It's 2-0 to VN! What? 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 <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? Look at this. Where are you going? And that pass comes back and it's an easy enough finish for him. He takes it first time. I can't. It's 2-0. We really need to... I need to figure out what to do with the difficulty thing. It's not that it's too difficult. Well, it. it's just... It's just broken. Top to bottom. And it's... And it's a genuine, genuine problem. Back inside. Hatsaburra. Nicely played there. One more. Kovalenko does well to take. And can he play that in? He can. And Kovalenko played a great ball in there. And I believe that is Muriel who's found the back of the net. We've grabbed a goal, though this goal doesn't mean too much other than the next goal won't. Well, I guess it kind of means a little bit. They still need two goals, really. A 3-0 would have tied it. They still need two to win it. But at least we're ahead now. Should they score one more? Let's avoid um, letting them score another. It's a really good bit of play. Right down the middle. And Muriel with a goal. 2-1 on the day. 4-2 on aggregate. Oh, nicely played there. It's a bit of space. He's going to try and get this across. Look at that. Please, please, please. Oh, wow, he's cleared that off the line. I knew as soon as that ball went into the air that that was coming back at goal and someone had to be on the line there. What happened there? Just get it out. Let's get this ball out. And thankfully, someone was on the line there, to be fair. They nicked one of ours off the line, so it's only fair that we do the same to them, isn't it? Nicely played. One more to Barrow. Barrow can play it through to Kovalenko. Back to Barrow. Played on here. We slip that through. We can. And Barrow's in on goal. And Barrow's finished it. And hopefully that finishes off the tie. They need three more. I said that during the Parma game. Well, we'll see what devices FIFA try to draw up to bring VN back. 2-2 two -two on the day. 5-2 on aggregate. This is a really good ball. Lovely ball. And he finishes it off easily enough. Barrow with the goal. 5-2 on aggregate. Back into Maldini. 
for a run here, and it comes for Robertson. Nicely played through. Muriel here. If he slip that ball through, he can. What a touch by Ilicic, and he can get it across goal, and that's game over. That's tie over, and we're moving into the next round. 3-2 on the day. 5 or 6-2 on aggregate, it should turn into. This is lovely football here. Muriel with a great ball in. That touch takes him away, slides it across goal, and a tap in at the back post. Maldini once again with a goal contribution and an appearance. He tends to get a bunch of those. And we've gone and grabbed ourselves the end of this tie. 6-2 on aggregate. They need four more in the last ten minutes. Andragora back inside. It's a lovely turn from Maldini. And Maldini forces a really good save out of the goalkeeper. And with two minutes to go, that is going to do it. As we move into the next round, I'm not, I think from the amount of people or the amount of teams I saw... In this round, I believe there should be one more qualifying round if we want to get into the group stage. And normally, you can you can get some dangerous ties in there. Can we get this across? Ooh, not quite. You can get some really dangerous ties in there, and hopefully, we can we get one of the easier ones. Is that Castagne? Look at this lad go, sneaking right through everybody. One more back. Mandragora can get it to the top of the box to Robertson. That's a wild challenge and we're gonna have a penalty right at the end of this game I'm surprised he didn't just have a shot there Robertson but I guess this is just as good in a way take the penalty Muriel set to take it and he sends the goalkeeper the wrong way and we are gonna come away large victors in the end 7-2 on aggregate 4-2 on the night well done in the end. They took an early 2-0 lead. That really made it uncomfortable. But then obviously since we've been very much the dominant force. As we move into the next round of the Europa League. We'll find out very quickly who our next opponent is. Considering that has to happen before the group stage comes along. And that is not far away. It should be next week. We're back on our Europa League kind of tilt. And we'll see what happens as we go forward. I believe that Fire Nord thing is going to extra time. But there are some good teams in there. Leicester, uh, Rangers, Sevilla. We'll see who we get. Interest shown in Mafio. It's okay. Match rescheduled, match rescheduled. And a little bit of prize money. That prize money last year from the Champions League really helped us out. I believe our transfer budget is the size it is because of what happened in the Champions League really could have gotten to the semi-final there but just a, mm, a late goal from Liverpool has done it so we're gonna play this game Sampdoria we'll see who we get oh we've gotten the group stage so Aberdeen in the group Athens and Besiktas should come out of that group we really should but let's jump into the Sampdoria game we need we need points because already we've started off with a not so great result at home Hopefully, we can turn this into something. We're going to make two changes. Malinovsky is going to come out for Mandragora. And Popov is going to play. Or is not going to play. And Sutalo is. Or Toloi. Maybe this might be Toloi's final game here. So we'll let Toloi play. But everyone else is fit. Let's jump into it. Sampdoria, Atalanta. Let's go. Nicely played across to Mandragora. And Coutinho's made a really good run here. And there's space in the middle. He slide it through to Draxler. It's a nice touch by Draxler. A little bit wide. Mm, I thought that was that looked a little bit better there for a moment. But it was a big opportunity. And it's, it's just saved on by the goalkeeper. Sanchez does well. Finds Draxler. Lovely one-touch football. Draxler in space. Draxler, he's hit the post. No way. Oh, no. Oh, he's got to be finishing that. Oh, what a massive opportunity and lovely football to go along with it as well. Back across. Mandragora. Let's slip it out wide. Can we slip it forward one more time. We can. Here's Draxler. And Draxler can find a good ball in there. And it's Sanchez, and he's hit the post as well. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> we got to be putting one of those in the back of the net. Oh, the post. Twice. Nicely played. Good turn as well. One more forward. Osuman gets it out to Coutinho. And Coutinho can get it across nicely. It's a nice turn here. And it comes to Atarin. And Atarin can clip it back post. And that take gets... And it, it's a 
decent take, but it's not exactly what I was looking for as it comes back to Coutinho, and he plays a really good ball. Brilliant, and it's finally in the back of the net. A couple extra passes there, but deservedly we find the back of the net it's a lovely little move for carving this team apart defensively we're putting some really good moves together and everybody's making a couple of you know good runs we're making better runs here and he's just finished it off into the back of the net and we finally finally take a deserved lead it's mandragora with the goal and it's one nil on 40 minutes nicely taken down really nicely taken down and laid off the coutinho one more at Osiman, and here's Draxler. Not the quickest of players, but very, very smart. He plays a good ball in there, and it's Osiman here. He play that across, he can. And Atarin's on it here, and Atarin, he's finished it. And it's 2 0. And we have very much deserved that. And we finally take it. 2 0 the score. 20 minutes to go. Sam Dory have a lot to do. Osiman did well here. He slips that back into space. And this is a great finish from Atarin, isn't it? Right into that top corner. No chance for the goalkeeper. That's an incredible finish. That's a really good finish. And it's 2-0 here. Inside, not inside, 70 minutes. <laughs> Play it out wide. We can. Here's Muriel. We slip that through to Osiman. We can. Osiman gets it back, and it's come into Muriel. And Muriel on it here. Muriel forces a good save. It comes back, and he's put it in the back of the net. Into the roof. I thought he went over. 3-0. Game over. And we are going to collect our first win of the season here in game number two. It's a decent save, but can only do so much the goalkeeper from there. And then he's just fired it into the back of the net. 3-0, 85 minutes. There's a minute to go here and added time as we are going to collect all three points. And very much needed all three points. As that gets blocked on, cleared back into the middle, and that should be that. Three points, 3-0. And we needed to wake ourselves up in Syria, and hopefully we've done it there. We were so much better than Parma. A couple of stupid things went our went the wrong way with Parma, but we didn't concede any silly goals today, and we won. Amazing how that works out as uh, Juve naturally beat Parma 4-0 on the road. So this is where we're ending the episode, right here. An offer comes in for Silvera as he wants to... Oh, no, it's a real offer. We're not doing that. Reject. We can go out on loan. Um, the Galini transfer is being negotiated on, and we are going to leave it there. Next episode, we may bring in a left back and um, a right winger. That's what we're looking at here. Um, and those are the two we'd be looking to bring in. Left back is not a as pressing of a need because we have Gossens who can play there. But if Gossens leaves, we need to bring one of these two players in. Um, or one of those two, and there are a couple down here too, just the left back in general. And then a player who can play on the right side of midfield would be ideal. Um, and that's probably where we're aiming next episode. But we'll see going forward, and we will see what happens, guys. But for now, that is it. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.